Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. Two builds for the price of one with this video. We're going to looking at 25330 for Windows Insiders on the Canary channel and 23424 for Windows Insiders on the Dev channel. Some of these changes actually carry on to, over to both builds, which is why I'm, I'm doing together. But we'll start with the uh, Canary build. And this is the Canary build here. And there's not a huge amount of changes documented in this because Microsoft said they're just uh, they're not always going to document all the features in Canary. But the first one is the Bluetooth wheel um, when you've got something like a Surface Dial, which I've got. So I can show you what the settings look like in the old version and what they look like in the new version. So this is the old style one um, that you can see here. And the screenshot it, it, there is the new style one. Uh, the reason why I'm not showing you the, the new style one on my because uh, it's on a virtual machine, it doesn't pass it through. So, uh, so that's the new one. There's some other changes, only a few minor things. The um, remote desktop has improved text scaling. Uh, you can uninstall the camera and the sandbox, uh, the primary mouse button and the sandbox has been changed as well. Oh, and one other thing as well. If you use the print screen button to get screen clips on the old <clears throat> the old setting it would just go straight to the clipboard but now when you hit print screen it opens a snipping tool and it does a new snip like that so you can create a snip like that so the old one just grab the whole screen now you get the snipping tool like that so those are the changes on the canary over here on the dev channel build you can see the new uh, widgets design so the, the this is the widgets down the left hand side and the feed on the right hand side. Over on the canary build you can see the mixed one. So um, yeah, I like that better. It gets it all into one place. Um, actually, I'm quite happy if you could turn that feed bit off really now and just have the, the widgets bit. But anyway, that's what, that's new. Um, also including this is control over adaptive bright, uh, brightness. So if you've got a device with a camera, it can uh, adjust the brightness on uh, on the device. And I think because I'm on a Surface Laptop Studio, but because this is a virtual machine, it's not picking up on that. But that's where it is. This is the screenshot. Okay, some other Im improvements. Um, some uh, mouse polling improvements for when you're gaming, which is good if you're a gamer. And there's another setting here which is uh, get the latest updates as soon as it's available. This is actually designed for a beta channel um, users so they can switch via an, an uh, en enablement package. Dev channel doesn't use that, so this switch won't do anything, um, but it's designed for them to test the channel and check the backend services. So it doesn't actually do anything if you turn that on, but um, that Microsoft are testing that stuff for the uh, beta channel users. Uh, they've also improved the performance of search as well. So if I've searched something like I was looking for a wheel before, that is actually a bit quicker now than, than it was before, which is good to see. The the wheel changes that I mentioned before in the Canary build, that's been done in this build as well. Uh, there's some fixes. They fixed some issues with the wake-up command voice access. They fixed some issues with uh, File Explorer. The open file location didn't work and remove from list didn't work. They fixed some uh, um, issues with alt-tabbing and they fixed a uh, task manager issue where it would overlap. There's still some known issues with this uh, build. There's some issues with, um, you know, maybe I'll see the search box and adjust that and the Bing button uh, on the taskbar uh, disappears. That's the Bing button down there, which is just a shortcut, but uh, that disappears and you have to reboot to bring it back or make some changes to bring it back. And there's still some issues with uh, live captions as well. So those are the main issues. I also forgot to mention at the beginning that um, the Canary build is only available for Intel devices and not for ARM devices. So that's what you, you want to get that if you've got a, um, if you've got an ARM device, you won't see this update. So those are the two changes to the build two five three three zero on the uh, Canary channel and uh, 2324 on the dev channel. You see a lot of the features are carried over between the two, but not all of them. Um, but the new widget board, I think, is, a, is an improvement, so that's good to see. Right, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on our YouTube channel on thegistlife.com. I'm at Ice Dixon on Twitter.